Welcome everyone. Very excited to have a look at today the latest information from the Chinese community about the new PD system for Genshin Impact. As we can see on this particular forum post, this is a very detailed explanation of the hidden system of the banners with the guarantees and how does the PD work with more details and additional information. So in this video, we'll go through the hidden PD system for the standard banner. We'll have a look at how the standard banner works and how is this similar to the limited banner, which was not discovered by us previously. We'll go through the details of the explanation of how does this work for the 4 star and also for the 5 stars. How does the rate boosting works and how can this potentially benefit us as a player, which is very important. I also have a few of examples for us to go through and this is actually a very interesting finding because this allows us to make better decisions to be more focused on the rate boost and how does the rate boost goes from 66% to 75% and goes from about 33% to about 40% and we'll go through some of the findings over here with different graphs of the data and also how does the rate spike for different intervals for the rate half for the 4 stars and also for the 5 stars. This is very interesting and let's go through this one together. Now lately, a few of our viewers has been telling me to have a look at this particular Chinese post. And let's translate this one over here. So this is a particular calculation of the Chinese post with over 200,000 records of the data and also the stats. What this post is providing is, it's providing a new hidden algorithm with a calculation of the standard banner. And this was not previously determined. And it did take me some time to understand what is happening and also make summary notes of what's behind it. And it's quite interesting as we go through this particular video to explain everything now before we go through our summary notes, a big thank you to Tavet University, who is the poster of this forum and also his friends who made the records and also the calculation to make this one possible. If you guys want to check it out, they do have a Billy Billy on the Chinese YouTube and to support him and to have a look what he wants to say in Chinese. So over here I made a summary notes of what was explained and let's go through everything together. Now the first thing is, we want to understand the basics of how the permanent or the standard banner works. And how it works is, we'll be wishing through the permanent banner with a quintal fate. The same soft pity and also hard pity system also applies. So the soft pity starts at 76 and also the hard pity starts at 90. Now the word pity means you'll be guaranteed for a 5 star drop and this will be the golden 5 star. This can either be a character or a weapon. Now if you guys do have more questions of how the soft pity works, we do have a previous video of how does this work with 1 billion simulations. And this was a big finding. Before we were thinking it was 90 wishes, and this one shows it's actually just 76 wishes you have the rate boost. And this was the first finding. So definitely have a look at this video if you want more explanation of how the soft pity works and how to benefit from this. Now similar to the limited character banner, the permanent banner also carries the PD forward with each of the new patch. So after patch 5, patch 6, patch 7, this will carry forward and this is similar to the limited banner. The difference between the permanent banner and also the limited banner to us previously was that there are no guarantees. If you're summoning on the limited banner, if your first finding of the character was not a limited character, your next finding will be guaranteed with 100% for the special character. Now previously we thought there are no guarantees. And upon discovering this new hidden pity system, it means there is actually a hidden guarantee that we'll explain in this video. Now before we go through the hidden guarantee and how it works, it is actually quite important to understand how the limited banner works and this will help us to understand the next part. I know guys, it's like school, you have to understand this part before you understand the next part. I think this will help and I'll try my best to make it short. So in the limited character banner, if you're summoning for a 5 star character, you have a 50% chance of getting your special character, whether it's Eula banner, Klee banner or Kazuha banner. And we call this the common 50-50. So you know, 50 chance of getting the wrong one, 50 chance of getting the wrong one. If you get the wrong character, which is not the special character, which is a 5 star you find, the next 5 star you find is 100% guaranteed to be the limited character. So this is actually the similar case with the limited banner 4 star rate up characters. And this is for the purple 4 stars. So we won't go through the purple 4 star too much. Now this particular guarantee system was explained in the details of the banner for the limited banner. So there was any explanation on the hidden guarantees in the standard banner. And this is our next discovery. So going through the summary notes of the particular Chinese post, we can see that there is actually a hidden balance system which is similar to the limited banner which guarantees the next character to be the 5 star limited character. So how this works is, this hidden system is guaranteed the current wishes if you are getting characters, then there's more chance boost of you getting a weapon on the next 5 star wish. And similarly, if you have been getting weapons with your 5 star wish, this will boost the chance of you getting characters on the next wish. And this particular system will work for 4 stars and also 5 star characters. Now translating from the guide, it seems like there is a separate counter for the standard banner for the 5 stars and also for the 4 stars we find. 
So upon getting a 4 star weapon, it will greatly increase the chance of getting a 4 star character on the next wish with a purple 4 star. And this is actually quite easy to be observed in the game with a banner history, because every 10 ish wishes with a standard banner will actually see the repetition of the character and also the weapons. So upon looking at this, I was like, let me test it out in my particular account. So coming over to my account, let's go over to history for the standard banner. So you do see that my last character on the standard banner was Chi-Chi, but what we can focus on, let's focus on the 4 star first, then we'll focus on the 5 star hi history. We can see my last character was a Negron for the 4 star, and if we keep going back, it was a weapon. So Negron, weapon, and then we go keep going, we're going to see another character, so Negron again, then we see another weapon. And if we keep going, we're going to see another weapon, and then we're going to see the character. Notice how it is oscillating between characters and also weapons, because each time I get a character, the next boost will be for the weapon, and this is a rate boost. And similarly, if I get a weapon, the next rate boost, the hidden guarantee system, will give me a character more likely. And this was the case for multiple cases. Notice it's always repeating between characters and also weapons, and this is quite interesting, because this actually shows that we can start to determine what we get next on the standard banner. Notice there's a weapon, there's a character. So just by looking at my account history and also the collective data from this particular guide, it seems that the 4 stars are working. And this is also the similar case for the 5 star characters and also weapons. And this is actually a little harder to observe, because the accounts it has to be observed has to have over 75 wishes for the standard banner rotations, which is quite hard to observe, but this is actually a very important system, we will explain how does this benefit us. So we can see the number of graphs that was revealed on this particular guide as well, and the particular graphs are showing the soft pity for all three banners. This include the weapons banner, the standard banner, and also the limited character banner. Let's go through some of those graphs. This is the banner graph for the weapon banner for the 4 stars. Notice how the 4 star rates will dramatically increase around the 10 wish up to the 16 wish, which have a much higher chance for each of the wish. And similarly, this is the character banner for the standard banner for the 4 star characters, which dramatically increase around the 19th wish. Now what this means is, by the 19th wish, you're pretty much guaranteed a very high chance of getting a character on the standard banner because of the hidden rotation system that oscillates between the characters and also the weapons. And if we have a look at this, this is again the standard banner for the 4 stars. Notice your 4 star chances increase on the first time when you're about to get your 4th purple. And if you don't get your 4 star character on the first time, your next purple will have a dramatic increase of your chance of getting a purple. And this pretty much caps out on the 30th wish. So the data also shows, I'll show you guys the summary. By the 30th wish, you're pretty much guaranteed to get at least one 4 star character. And this is the same case for the weapon. Now coming over to the more important pity summary, you can see that this is the 5 star comparison on the standard banner. So by the 71 up to the 76 wish, the soft pity happens. And this will be a chance for the increase for the 5 star items, which we'll have talked about in this particular video, which covered on the soft pity. Now other than the soft pity, there's actually a bigger pity. So over here, around 151 to about 161, the rates of you getting the character that you're missing or the weapon you're missing dramatically increase again. And this time, it is much higher than the soft pity. So how this works is, if you're summoning for a character on the standard banner, the first time you get a rate boost over here. The second time, you get a much bigger rate boost if you do not get a character over here. And we'll talk about this in more details. Now from the data that was revealed on this guide, it is said that by the 30th wish or 270th wish, it is the maximum limitation of you to guarantee the weapon or the character on this banner. I know this doesn't seem to be very helpful because it shows the maximum cap, but in reality, this happens more frequently. And as we can see in the graph over here, the bigger pity or the bigger reboots happens around 151, about 161. And this is quite important because on this next part, we'll talk about how this helps us. Now, if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news, and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. So after spending a lot of time to understand this particular guide, my question was, how does this help us as a free-to-play player, might be the, you know, the low spending player, or even if I do pay money for the game a lot, how does this help us? The first thing is, we do get a lot of acquaintance fates. Notice that I have saved up to 49 of the acquaintance fates, and this is from the Paimon shop, this is from, you know, the freebies we get from leveling up characters to level 20, to level 50, to level 70. So I have been saving those. And I've heard there may be a chance of changing the standard banner in the future, and this may become more helpful. 
So my idea is this particular understanding of the standard banner will help us to best determine when to use those wishes and how worth it to buy more of those wishes. Now, if we come over to the details of the standard banner, what you're going to see is the details revealed over here are saying there are 15 items of the 5 star items, which include 5 of those are characters and 10 of those are weapons. So what we initially expected is 5 out of 15 are for characters and 10 out of 15 are for the weapons. And this is split among the 0.6% for the golden item. Now, initially we were thinking this is the 33% for characters and also 66% for the weapons. But upon further estimation with this particular guide, it seems that the chances of the characters are higher over the weapons after the estimation. And currently, it can be estimated to be around 40% to 60% for the character to the weapon ratio. And this is because it's a hidden boost for the characters. So to explain this more in details, let me try to use an example over here. And hopefully this will help you guys understand how does this benefit us. So let's say if I'm wishing with my 10 equipment fates. Firstly, I'm looking for a constellation of amber. And if I look at the banner history, my last 4 star was a weapon. And this means I'm getting a much higher chance of me finding a character in the next 10 wish. And this also gives me more incentive for me to wish on the standard banner if I do have that quinta wish. Now the second example is that if I'm wishing for a 5 star weapon upgrade. For some of us who has been getting now 4 stars or maybe upgrade 5 star characters, we really want a 5 star weapon upgrade to make a character stronger. This can be for the mid game or the late game. This is also a better investment over the 4 star weapons, which we might get a replacement for that. So we really want some good 5 star weapons. And if I have a look at my banner history, and you can see my banner history shows my last character was actually Chi Chi. I'll show you guys the history over here. Notice my last history was a Chi Chi. And this means that my chance of getting my 5 star weapon is actually dramatically boosted because of the hidden system. And although we know the rates of getting a weapon from the standard banner is about 66% from the details, knowing that there is a hidden rate boost, this is estimated to be around 75% chance or higher for me to get a weapon. Now if we come back to my account's banner history for the 5 star characters this time, you can see that my last character was the 5 star Chi Chi. And if we keep going back, you can see that I'm trying to go back a little further. Notice it's much harder to find the 5 star rotations. And let's, let's keep going a little bit. So I'm still waiting for the gold to shine. Where, where is the gold? So let's keep going. So notice that it takes a lot of wishes to say the rotation. Notice after, before Chi Chi, it was the 5 star Skyward Hub. And this is weapon. Notice getting the weapon boosted my chance of getting the character. And if we keep going back a little bit, let me see if I can find another gold first. I think this one more. Yep. Yeah. I also found the Skyward Pride. So I have gotten three of the golden items from the standard banner. Notice getting the first weapon boosted my rate of getting characters. But this rate of getting characters is probably about 40%. And then I got one more weapon. So getting two weapons is actually boosting my rate of getting characters even further. And this is how I got Chi Chi on the final wish on the over here, as you can see. So the first weapon boosted rates for the characters, and I got another weapon because weapon rates are still higher. And then I got Chi Chi. And now if I do something on the standard banner for the weapon again, it is very likely I have over 75% chance of getting a weapon over the character. And this could be interesting because in the future, I'm still saving my fates. If there's a change on the standard banner, I know what I can expect. I'm actually hoping for some different weapon series or maybe different characters for Inazuma. We'll cover this part in more details. I keep hearing rumors that there will be a change of the standard banner. And this can be super useful because now we have more knowledge on the standard banner. And if the standard banner changes, we know how to capitalize this and get the better rates with the better methods. Now for the case that I'm actually looking for a character on the standard banner and my last particular wish was a 5 star weapon, the booster rate is estimated to be around 40% chance for getting the character on the next golden item. And this is also a boost from the 33% that was showing the details up to 40%. And this is very useful because this particular knowledge allows us to have more certainty on the randomness of the standard banner. And because we'll be getting a lot of wishes over here from the free to play Paimon shop, it is quite important to know that what can we get out of this? We can be farming for characters to level 50 or level 70, you know, the special reward for that Quinta Fate for leveling those characters. We could be farming and collecting enough resource to get more Quinta Fates and for the upgrade of the items we wanted. This also helps us to decide whether if I want to buy the Quinta Fate or not. Usually, I will not recommend buying a Quinta Fate because I think, you know, the, the Intertwin Fate is more valuable because it has the 100% guarantee before. So let's go through the idea why we sometimes we want to consider buying a Quinta Fate. So coming over to the example over here, 
Let's say if I'm 8 wishes away to the soft pity, and I really want a weapon upgrade on the standard banner. I don't really care what weapon it is, it can be the bow, it can be the poem, I just want a weapon upgrade. And the last 5 star I got was a character, as you guys see it is Gigi, and now I'm happy with any of the 5 star weapon. So maybe it is worth it for me to buy just 8 of the Quinton Fate and try my luck on the weapon, because I know the booster rate for the weapon is much higher because I got a character before. Now as I usually say, it is important we know it is better for the inventory fate because it has the 100% guarantee system if we're going for characters. But in reality, if you're going for limited banner weapons, those are very extreme and very hard to get. And this particular example will focus on getting a 5 star weapon. So knowing that I have a higher booster chance of getting weapon on the standard banner, I might consider summoning on the standard banner over the limited weapon banner. Now of course, there is a limited weapon that you can get that you can't get on the standard banner. So for me, it is important to understand I just want any of the 5 star weapon. I do not want a particular limited weapon. And having this particular knowledge, I might now consider buying a Quinter Fate over the Internet Fate and try my luck on the limited weapon banner. So this is the only case I think it is worth it, knowing this particular knowledge. Now it is also quite helpful to know the result for the next 4 star character or the 4 star weapon, on the standard banner that is. So if I'm going for a constellation upgrade for Ember, maybe Kaya, maybe Lisa, knowing that I have gotten a weapon on the standard banner, that I can prepare for the upgrade of the possible character. Because the oscillation happens very quickly, about every 8 to 9 wishes, we can be guaranteed on the weapon on the next one if I got a character. And if I have gotten a weapon, it can guarantee on the 4 star character. So this could be interesting too, because there are definitely some particular 4 star weapon that is better than 5 star weapon, you know, at certain situations. For example, the Sacrificial Weapon series that gives the chance of resetting your e-spell, which can be very good for someone like Diana. And this is actually the best weapon in stock for Diana over the 5 star weapons. So hopefully you guys found this particular guide on the explanation of the Hidden Pity system for the standard banner not too hard to understand. I know there's quite a bit to go through, so basically what you want to understand is, on top of the soft pity, there is actually a bigger pity if you summon on the standard banner. And this pity is very similar to the 100% guarantee pity. It will dramatically boost your rate if you did not get the item you wanted on the first go. On the first go, if I'm looking for characters, you have a rate boost around the soft pity, around 76. And if you didn't get a character there, there is a bigger rate boost on this next time. So if I got a weapon here, the rate boost for the character will go up. And this is the case for the weapons as well. And having this new knowledge of the hidden guarantee system for the standard banner, this will help us to make better decisions if you're looking for a character upgrade of the standard banner characters, or if you're looking for the weapon upgrade for any of the 5 star weapons. And we did go through an example over here with some of the estimated rates of the rate boost if a particular scenario happens. So hopefully you guys found this one helpful. I'm very excited to find more information, more findings with the banners and how to help us to save money and also predict the RNG and also the randomness with the systems of the banners. Whether it's the standard banner, the limited weapon banner, or the limited character banner. And if you guys do have a look at re your results, let us know in the comments below, what do you see on your standard banner? Do you see similar result to me? And also the data over here is about over 200,000 results. So let us know your results as well, and let's together look for more findings for a better system with Gadget Impact. Now if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news, and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with Gadget, and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.